Today on our journey to give Dr. Wiley the People's Mega Buster, we're taking on the Brownson Brawler Bounce Man. And this time I gave Mega Man an upgrade that constantly charged the Mega Buster. And with that, let's begin. So as his name implies, Bounce Man stage uses balloon-like surfaces to make Mega Man bounce along the entire level. Enemies include turrets, robots that hold balloons, flying cannons, and giant frog mini bosses. And no, I'm not lying about that last one. And if I'm being honest, this level kept me on my turtles the entire way. The speed gear and mega buster are key to keeping you alive, especially when certain enemies like to come up from seemingly bottomless pits. Which begs the question is how do they bounce up and down if the pits are bottomless? But that's neither here nor there. The stage was pretty cool. The bouncing mechanic was executed almost perfectly, with some parts where I felt were a little unfair, but all in all, I give this stage a 7 out of 10, which is not bad. I'm just saying. Now, the boss fight. In terms of design, Bounce Man gets a 9 out of 10 from me. His balloon like body, stretchy arms, and magenta design just pop out and make me feel so alive, you know? And another thing they did to give a Bounce Man a personality was that he has invented an exercise called Hop Exercise, which is just boxing but with trampolines. And it's apparently pretty hit with middle aged women, so hey, get your grind on, Bounce Man. That's always a good thing. But anyway, when you're fighting him, it's easy to see that he's the brawler of the Mega Man Robot Masters. He'll bounce around the entire room in a diagonal pattern, then stop in midair to use his stretchy arms to punch you. These are relatively easy to dodge, especially with the speed gear. However, when his health reaches a certain threshold, excuse me, he'll use the speed gear and start bouncing at a higher velocity. Now you can use the Mega Buster to send him flying back, or you can use the pile driver, his weakness, to scatter him into many parts. However, only damaging his body portion will allow him to get received damage, so if you shoot his arms or his head, he won't be damaged. But, my final thoughts on this guy? Yeah, I think he might take the spot of my favorite Robot Master. His design and fight were a blast, the stage was fun, and yeah, it was just all around enjoyable. And next on our journey, we're going to take on the Voltaic Villain, Fuse Man. See you then.
Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day, Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed, it's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. Just running on you. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Are you sure? Ta-da! All ready. Are you sure? Ta-da! All ready. Yo, Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Are you sure? Ta-da! All ready! Good luck out there, Mega! 